today we will learn the following concepts related to integers at times we place a plus sign or a minus sign in front of a number they are commonly used to express opposite situations for example the amount deposited in the bank account is expressed with a plus symbol and the amount withdrawn from the bank account is expressed with a minus symbol similarly the plus sign is used to express the temperature above 0 degree centigrade and the minus sign is used to express the temperature below 0 degree centigrade if a number is expressed with a plus sign it's called a positive number similarly if a number is expressed with a minus sign it is called a negative number group of all positive numbers negative numbers and zero are called integers integers expressed by plus signs such as plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 etc are called positive integers generally we express them without a sign therefore remember that any number without a sign other than zero is always a positive number similarly integers expressed with minus sign like minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 etc are called negative integers zero is neither a positive integer nor a negative integer hence it has no sign attached to it for correct understanding of integers we use the number line to draw a number line of integers first draw a line and then mark points at equal distance of these points we mark one of them as zero and mark positive integers to the right of it and negative integers to the left of it for example the position of plus 6 is marked on the number line at a distance of 6 steps to the right of zero similarly the position of minus 4 is marked on the number line at a distance of 4 steps to the left of zero expressing integers on the number line makes it easier to compare them can you tell me how to compare integers on a number line think about it in a number line the value of the number increases as we move towards the right and decreases towards the left that is the number of your left side is always smaller and the number to your right side is always large therefore we can say that minus 4 is smaller than 6 similarly if we talk of two negative integers like minus 2 and minus 5 then minus 2 being on the right of minus 5 is a larger number and 5 being on the left side of minus 2 is a smaller number than minus 2 taking a look at the number line it can be easily understood that the value of all negative integers is smaller than 0 and the value of 0 is smaller than all positive integers or we can say that all positive integers are greater than 0 and 0 is greater than all negative integers by comparing the integers we can arrange them in order for example listed below are the temperatures of a hill station recorded at different times of the day let us express these on the number line as you can see Minus six is on the extreme left, so it is the smallest number among the given numbers. Then let's move to the right. Now comes minus two, which is to the right of minus six. Therefore, it is larger, but it is to the left of plus seven and plus fourteen, and hence it is smaller to them. So we will write it after minus six. Then comes plus seven. It is to the right of minus six and minus two. Hence, it is larger. then these two but to the left of plus 14 hence it is smaller than 14 since 14 is to the right of all these number it is the largest hence we write plus 14 after plus 7 we have now arranged the numbers in order the order obtained by arranging the numbers from small to large is called ascending order if we reverse the order that is arrange the numbers from larger to smaller then it is called descending order So today we have learned the concepts related to integers in the next video we will see some examples for the same